Hello, this is Ibrahim, and in this video I'm going to talk more about image detection. We've talked a little about it in tutorial number 7, I believe, or 6, 7, and 8, where we seen how to detect faces in a given image or a stream of frames, be it a webcam or a video. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk more about um, image detection, or more precisely we're going to use um, cascades that are available out there to detect more than a face. Basically we're going to utilize an existing model, a training model, and we're going to use it to detect uh, what we need in a given image or uh, stream of frames. Uh, what I've done is I've went to OpenCV repository in GitHub. I've went to, you can see, you can find the available cascades in data, cascades. Of course you get other options as well under data. But we're going to stick with our cascade, and you get to see several models here. Eyes, detecting eyes, frontal face, the one we have used, lower body, smile, uh, Russian plate, and so on and so forth. What, we go with, what I'm going to demonstrate in this video is basically the lower body and the smile. Uh, I've, I did not try the smile before, but I'll go ahead and try it for the, for the fun of it. Just to show you how things actually work. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, oh yeah, before we start, I've got these images here. I've got them from Pixabay. This is a guy standing, and uh, I've got a guy smiling, a little kid actually. Yeah, what we, we'll all try to detect the face here, uh, sorry, the smile, and the lower body in the guy image. So, con uh, as a continuation to tutorial number 8, the code we've built in tutorial number 8, what we're going to do here, we're going to, since we imported from a webcam, we're going to change this to import from the image that we downloaded just now. So let's go ahead and instead of us loading from a webcam or a camera, let's read, read the image from the source cv2. I am read and then specifying the destination to the image. In this case, it's in the same uh, folder as my source code, so I'm going to just plug it in as is. Um, there we go. This uh, let's go ahead and try this. And here we are. We got a false positive here. This is uh, detecting the face. Uh, we just changed the to use the image. What we are interested in actually is the lower body. So let's go. Let's go ahead and oh yeah. By the way, we've got a false positive. We just need to play around with the scaling here, and then we'll get the proper uh, positives, not not the false ones. Anyways, let's go ahead and import the lower body like that, and then I'll keep the image here. Let's go ahead and uh, run this, and there we are. So we got the lower body here, so it's worked. So we can use this uh, on other images as well. Uh, I'll leave that to you. And uh, let me just, oh, sorry, let me just uh, press, I have to press escape to exit the image. Let me just use the original image, the colored image, instead of us using the gray image. I think it would look much more pleasing. And there we are. So this is the image and this is the lower body detected. We just use the model here, the cascade. Again, I have to press escape. Anyways, so we've used the lower body cascade and uh, we've got the image. So everything's worked. Now let's go ahead and try the smile. Let's use the smile model, which is basically this is the result of the training set that has taken place. This is our cascade. Um, so instead of us using the guy image, we want to use the smile image, the kid's image. Uh, I don't think we need to... Okay, let's try it first. Oh, wow. We've got many false positives here. So generally what we can understand from this is that the training set used was not actually um, in this manner or was not uh, in size or maybe it was not large or... Anyway, so... You know, to elaborate more on this, let's go ahead and play on the size. So let's try to to go and uh, increase, uh, decrease the the scale. Uh, probably in the training set, the smile was more into was specified a lot in the lips and stuff. So, and this is since it's a full image with the face and so on and so forth. We need to maybe to uh, maybe shrink it a little. Let's go ahead and try this. Okay, we've got less false positives, so I think we're going, we're doing good. How about, let me press escape and exit this one. How about we go up to maybe 9 
nine points, say maybe four or three, and give it a try. Okay, we've got it's a better result. Sort of the the smile is about to be detected, and we've got several false positives here as well. Uh, but generally, I think you get the uh, the notion of where this is going. So you keep on uh, playing around with the size and stuff until you'll be able to detect, to properly detect the the smile. And then for the rest of images or the the, the other sequence of images, if they are on the same structure or the same approach as this image here, I think it will be able to detect it quite fine. But um, again, it all depends on the training set you have done, you have uh, adopted. In this case, we are we are just using an existing training, uh, an existing cascade. It's always good to train your own set. Uh, again, it takes quite some time to demonstrate here. But there are several sources that you can just follow. It's very simple. It's uh, You just take a bunch of images, uh, hundreds or something of images, to the object that you want to detect. You crop them, and then you add in false images. And then you supply them to the training algorithm. And you will come up with your own uh, cascade uh, classifier. Anyways, I hope that was helpful. Uh, things are very simple. You can simply adopt an existing uh, cascade, our cascade classifier or something. And then you plug in your image and then you play around with whatever you want to do next. Yeah, I hope that was helpful. And uh, yeah, have a good day.